Hello everybody, it's Rosario. Welcome back to my channel. I am back from my trip to Zion National Park. I was there on Labor Day weekend on a ladies trip and I am back and I have a lot to share with you from our three days hiking. In today's video, I'm going to give you a little glimpse of Friday night, our arrival to Zion Ponderosa to our camping spot and Saturday, our first day of hiking to the Canada Falls. Please continue to watch the video until the end. I have some very good tips and recommendations to hike the Canada Falls. First thing you should know is that the Canada Falls hiking trail is located outside Zion National Park and you do require a permit to do this hike. The permit is only $12 per person and you can get it at canadafalls.com. Also, hurry up and get it because they only allowed 150 people per day. Yeah, fire. We rock. Mm -hmm. Let me eat the last one. There is more one, guys. Um, See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. What time is it? It's 7 a.m. in the morning. We didn't sleep very good. I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> but uh, we're cooking breakfast right now. And we want to get ready to go hiking. The, the falls, I don't remember the name, some weird name, but I'll uh, keep you posted when we get there. Okay, you wanna get a cover? Let me, wait, I can use my spoon if you want. Say hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I can hardly open my eyes. <laughs> Uh -huh. Did you beat me up at me? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful technology. We're having a reception on our phones and we cannot find the Canada Falls because they're not in the park. So that's where we're headed now. Hopefully we don't get lost again. <laughs> we'll be fine. Outside of the park there will be a reception. Okay. <laughs> okay. We finally found the parking to go to the Canara Falls. If you want to come over here, you better know where you're going. Otherwise, you're going to be lost because there is no internet. And you're going to start going up the hike when it's the hottest. At the trailhead, there's gonna be somebody shaking the permits and they're gonna give you this little map. Please look at it and understand it. There is a lower and upper Canada Falls. The trail goes up and flat for about a mile, very, very hot and exposed to the sun. Total round trip, this hike is about 3.8 miles. Between four and five hours, just depend how many times you stop for breaks or taking pictures. Please come prepared with comfortable water shoes, a hydrating bladder and backpack to carry your sunscreen, snacks and anything that you might need. This particular weekend it was over a hundred degrees. So sunscreen, a hat, a long sleeve and plenty of water are life savers. Oh my gosh. The water is so cold, that's amazing. Woo. After you go past this wire fence, the trail gets so much better. You will start hiking in the water. The trail crosses the river back and forth a few times. 
After this point, you will be hiking along the river underneath the trees where it's nice and shady. The trail gets beautiful, but I just want you to be aware of the water. It's freezing cold, and after hiking for a while, your feet might start hurting. Man, actually, we got in the water. This is really freezing. My feet are frozen. Oh my God, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh. From this point, it's about a half a mile to the first waterfall. So total to get to the first waterfall is about one mile and a half. My feet are frozen. It's crazy combination, cold and hot. Oh my gosh. Woo. But I don't regret not getting any sandals. I got tennis shoes instead. Still great. My shoes are great for this. Wow, this is amazing. Once you get to these beautiful narrow red walls, consider yourself a steps away from the lower Canada Falls. Yay, we made it to the lower Canada Falls. Look at this beauty. This is a great spot for pictures and to admire the beauty of nature. In order to get to the upper Canada Falls, you gotta go past this ladder and another one shortly after this. A lot of people was very scared to go up and down this ladder, but let me tell you, it's stronger than it seems. You just gotta trust in yourself, take it easy, one step at a time. Unfortunately, we didn't make it to the upper Canada Falls. 
We walked for about 15 minutes and we decided to turn around because my friend couldn't make it up the ladder and it was taking us a long time to go up and down because it was getting really, really crowded. And I just felt really bad to leave my friend for a long time. I just had too many excuses to turn around. My feet were hurting so bad from this freezing water and I couldn't stop thinking about the empanadas that I left behind with my friend. I do have a little regret that I turn around, but I didn't feel good to leave my friend behind. So if you make it to this point, just keep going because you're almost there. My gosh, the water is freezing. Ooh, it's so cold. My feet are numb. Hi. My gosh. We were feeling bad that we left you and we were wondering about the empanada. <laughs> That's the only downfall, you know, the feet walking on the rocks with your super cold freezing water. Like it's so painful at some point after you walk for an hour or two. Oh my god, but it's worth it. It's beautiful. Yeah! Sunshine! With a tripod, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go back to the campsite. We're tired. My boobs are engorged. Oh my gosh. You really love the funny yes. thing. Video, my books are <laughs> because that's you know what happened when you're breastfeeding and you leave your babies, right? That's the karma you get. <laughs> All right.